with Michael Bridge from Sky, please. No, no. Hello, Michael. Hi. Um, many changes last night, um, to be expected. Um, but there was a mixture. Some were first team players. Were there disappointing performances from those first first team players? No, no. We have to be, um, how I say, um, fair, fair to to the judgment that we have on the performance yesterday. There were good things. There were bad things. But bad things um, that we have to analyze. I already saw the game, so we analyze. There were um, situations that. He has to do with the with the team, not individual. He has to do with the process. He has to do with players that um, it was the first game that they they play for for Spurs. Um, players that arrive later, uh, young players. So all these things we have to be very fair on the judgment that we we make on the players. Um, but the the decision was made because we need all the players to to step up and increase the, the levels of fitness because we're gonna need all the players in in the um, in the future in the near future Nuno I saw you on Sunday I was in the stadium and you actually looked genuinely emotional at the reaction you got from Spurs fans on Sunday against City what will it be like for you to go back to Molyneux well, it's going to be special uh, of course it's going to be special there were four years of of hard work four years that uh, amazing and the fans the Wolves fans were so supportive and so so good to us that um, it's only love and respect that I have uh, for the club, for the fans, for the players there, for the staff. Uh, because, like I said, it was four years of our life that uh, we were together. Harry Kane's trained all week. Will he be back in your squad to face Wolves? He trained today. He trained today. He trained good. Um, he's going to train tomorrow and tomorrow we're going to make a decision. I'm so sorry to keep on saying the same things, but this is how we we work. Um, it's a day-by-day -day situation. The decisions are made when we feel that we should make them, make them, and we're going to take the decision who's going to travel tomorrow. You know, like you say, day by day, it, it feels a bit unfair on you because you want to build a squad. You want to build a strong team here. You want to know what strikers you're going to have. Does there need to be a resolution here? We don't want to. We don't want this to drag till, till deadline day. But honestly, Michael. Um, it's not unfair for me or fair. It's the it's the reality, and the reality needs needs to be taken care of with uh, wise decisions. And uh, the decision that we make, we go day by day, and we all the players that are involved in training session are options for us. Thanks, Nuno. So the squad is the squad. Thanks, Nuno. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. We'll go to Jonathan Overend for PLP, please. Hi, Nuno. Um, your, your visit to Wolves, no one knows Wolves better than yourself. What, what's the best way to play Wolves, your former club? I don't agree with you. In these moments, it's not, it's not, I'm not the, the, more, uh, the one that knows Wolves better. Bruno is the one that knows Wolves better. I know very good Tottenham Hotspur squad. So what we expect is a tough match because I'm going to face a tough opponent. What have you learned the most? You've only been in, in job such a short time, but what do you feel you've learned the most in those few weeks? It's not uh, that I learn, it's that I realize that we need uh, to work very hard because the expectations and uh, the standards are very high. So we'll require all that we have, all, all that we have, the best, the best. This is what I have learned. Every day we need to, to, to improve. Do, do you see a squad that has a variety of different ways of playing, Nuno? Will will there be multiple systems that you will use with this group of players? We are building our own idea, but I don't see a variety of, of systems because the idea is always the same. It's to be compact, to be solid, to take advantage of the talent that we have. So we are building, and but I truly believe that uh, Routines creates habits and habits transform into character and we want to build this character. So we'll stick with the, with the same ideas that we show from the previous game. I think we did a fantastic job against City, not so good yesterday. That gave us the chance to realize with the mistakes that we make. 
but we stick to our own ideas. And just finally from me, how much personally are you being kept up to date with the, the situation regarding Harry? Every day, every day. Thank you. Thanks, John. Thanks, Jonathan. Uh, Ian Abrahams from TalkSport, please. Hi, Nuno. How are you? I'm okay, Ian. Nice to see you. And you. Can I ask what reception you are hoping to get or you expect to get from the Wolves fans on Sunday? I don't know. I don't know. I will go there with focus on my job, but with a lot of respect when I enter Molino, because like I said, it was four years of our life that were huge for everybody. So on my part, I will go there, like I say, focus on my on my task, but with a smile on my face. I'm, I'm sure they'll be respectful to you as well. Um, as you've seen in the last week at Spurs, you go from great wins to the club being in crisis, the win over City to last night being in crisis. Is that very hard to manage when there's no kind of like middle ground? It's either everything's fantastic or as I say, you're in a crisis. It's not hard because it's reality. And I'm, I'm so used to to ups and downs, not only in football, but in life, that I deal pretty well with this situation. And I think the players also, the players also must realize that this is football and football gives you a chance to, to put things right. And tomorrow, uh, Sunday, we have a chance to put things right and recover the good mood. You're obviously going to decide about Harry Kane and whether he plays on Sunday nearer to the time. Can I ask you about the importance of Hummin Min Son? Whether Kane stays or whether Kane goes, how important this season is, is Sonny to Spurs? Sonny is a very talented player, um, a player that uh, is happy, so it's good to have him. But uh, not only Sonny, all the players, all the players are very important for us, very important. Uh, because uh, the competition is a cycle, it's a cycle. So we have to realize that um, players that play now, maybe they decrease, we need someone to go again. And so all the players, it's not individually um, players, it's all the squad and they know that. And my last question, um, I've spoken this morning to Mikel Arteta, Rafa Benitez and Thomas Tuchel already. Um, and, and they've all had problems of, with COVID in their club, affecting players who, who can't play or couldn't play last weekend and may not be able to play this weekend. How much do we need to remember that although we've got full stadiums and although football is back and, and looks really normal compared to what it was uh, during the pandemic, actually we need to be careful and maybe advise your players not to go into the crowd if they score a goal or to get vaccinated. I mean, just talk to us about that. Yeah. The pandemic is still is still with us, and we are learning to live with that. But I think the vaccine is the. Um, I respect all the, um, the personal choices. I think each one of one of us should decide. But I'm I'm in favor of the vaccine, and I should all the players to get the vaccine. That um, that allowed maybe this freedom of of when the players want to celebrate. Maybe doesn't mean that you are you are totally out of of contracting the virus, but it gives you more safety. So I'm I'm truly in favor of the vaccines. But to control the now that fans are back is very difficult to control the emotions of the players. If they score, if they want to go in the crowd, how can you stop it? Yes, anyway, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. Thank thanks, Ian. Uh, Alistair Gold, please. Hello again, Nuno. How are you? Hello. You're all right. Um, can you arrive very how... late. Eh? <laughs> yes, I can imagine. Um, how was Christian Romero feeling after his kind of first full 90 minutes? He looked like towards the end of the game he was maybe holding his knee a bit and having a bit of pain with it. Yeah, I think it was due to fatigue. Due to fatigue. Um, it was his first game um, in a while. He played 90 minutes intense. Um, Sec the first half, but sec especially the second half, where we were unbalanced, that were that required a lot of of situation from our defenders. Um, but I think it was due to fatigue. He's, he's well today. Uh, he's recovering, and taking the normal procedure. But he's okay.